There's barely a usable alternative for the great British word that is sorry. We Brits really overuse this word. We may even repeat it in a hurry. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so terribly sorry. I'm so, I'm so sorry. My apologies. Yet now I found there are a thousand ways in English to say you're drunk. From 14th century cup shotten to modern day drunk as a skunk. We Brits apologize, even if it's your fault. We're literally sorry we're in the vicinity. But come time we've had a drink, we totally lose our root virginity. We Brits are so polite until we're drunk. From the bashful old dear to the towering hunk. So please remember these words or you'll get into a twist. Cause there are a thousand British ways to say piss. First, there are the most common phrases which you may have already heard. Like off your face, out your tree, blacked out and dead to the world. Worse for wear and the influence high as a kite and over the limit. Drunk as a fish, drunk as a lord, and quite simply out of it. But there's also... Tipsy, merry, manky, giddy, lumpy, sloppy, squiffy, tiddly, peely, wally, muzzy, woozy, groggy, morty, and bent. Manky, jolly, lushy, nazy, nappy, beery, sucky, hazy, bumpsy, boozy, bosky, daisy, liquidly exuberant. There's still hundreds more, but my favorites by far are pissed, fucked, and cunted all the way. Cause when you're utterly fucked up, your diction might get sucked up, and you may forget every alternative phrase. We Brits are so polite until we're drunk. From the bashful old dear to the towering hunk, I feel the need to warn you so you can be prepared for when we're planning a night out and we get off our heads. There's mockubus and bibulous and bibacious and inebrious and glorious and crapulous and stocious and unsteady and legless and potvaliant and shit and inabstinent and hammer blowed moist and garrulous and sprung her off your trolley. Not to mention. Buckled and buttoned and butted and gutted and gassed and gutted and intoxicated and pickled and kippered and leathered and flippered and fluvered and pilfered and pifflicated. And razzled and rendered and fecked and fermented and soaked and sloshed and totally devastated and wellied and wailed and woofed and half shaved and mullered and foxed and feeling no pain. And there are still hundreds more, but my favorites by far. A pissed, fucked, and cunted all the way. Cause when you're utterly fucked up, your diction might get sucked up, and you may forget every alternative phrase. Just remember, we Brits are so polite until we're drunk. From the bashful old dear to the towering hunk, we change from the most overly polite people around. To a bunch of wild animals whose zoo's just been burnt down. We Brits are so polite until we're drunk. From the bashful old dear to the towering hunk. So please remember these words or you'll get into a twist. Cause there are a thousand British ways. There are a thousand British ways. There are a thousand British ways to say peace. Oh fuck, I forgot shit faced. Clobbered and wanked and smashed and stoned and splattered and slaughtered and tattered and zoned and drink. Drink drown and sozzled and befuggered and slagged. But somehow it's easy just to say buggered or shagged. We Brits polite and tell we're drunk. From the bashful old dear to the towering hug. So please remember his words. Or you will get into a twist, particularly if you're foreign and come here for holiday. Because there are a thousand British ways. 
there are a thousand British ways, a thousand American ways, a thousand Irish ways, a thousand Canadian ways, a thousand Kiwi ways, and Aussie ways, and South African ways, and Indian ways. There are a thousand British ways, Sri Lankan ways. There are a thousand British ways to say, pip, 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 pip. Get drunk, have a good time now. Stay safe, stay in the pubs, stay home, stay in the pubs, stay home, safe, safe. But do what you want, I don't care, just listen to this song. <laughs>